So by now you heard of the milk crate challenge. I have a few thoughts. You got people out here taking this high risk new sport very seriously. But what can make this sport a real sport? Well, first and foremost, safety. These people need to have on helmets, elbow pads, wrist pads, knee pads, and a cup, at the least. I would say add in some rib cage pads as well and something for the small of your back. So when you talk about the milk crate challenge and you talk about how can this be taken to the next level? Well, first and foremost, there should be time restraints. Should there not? It's not enough just to walk over the crates, just mosey on over at your own leisure. No, anyone can do that. Can you do it under 30 seconds? Is this what we will see? Will we start seeing time limits? Records being broken? Will this become a record-based sport? And number three, style points. Walking over, tiptoeing, that's not going to work. How about you sprint over? How about you hop over on one leg? How about you do a handstand at the top of the crate? How about you handstand walk from beginning to end? Now you're impressing me. Can you backflip from crate to crate? How far can the milk crate challenge go? Something that was created, started out as the hood games, then they kind of singled it down to the milk crates. So as we move forward with this new sport, let me know what you think. Is safety important or is taking the challenge and risking getting hurt part of the game? Do you get more points if you do it over concrete, over nails, over glass, maybe an alligator pit? Leave your comments in the box. This is Raw Status.